All right, guys, here we got the Trek Marlin 6. And it was something that I found out a few weeks ago that I didn't really notice was a big deal, but I thought about it and I said, man, a lot of other people need to know about this just in case they don't. I might be one of the only ones that don't know about this, but I figured if I didn't know, some other people didn't know either, so I figured I'd share the knowledge because I had an unfortunate but fortunate thing happen because I ended up solving the problem, but it's with the quick release. Now we have two cars, but only one car has the bike rack on it because only one has the hitch. So when I'm not able to drive that car, I have to take my front wheel off, which has a quick release. And a crazy story behind that, which was the unfortunate but fortunate thing I was telling you guys about was when I first bought the Trek Marlin 6, I brought it home because I had to take the front wheel off. I brought it home, started to put the bike together, wanted to go ride, and I realized it's like I lost the quick release. I don't know where it is. So I went and I called the bike shop. They said they didn't see it inside the store. So I was like, you know what? I bet I dropped it when I was loading up the car. So I went back to the bike shop, saw the quick release sitting in the parking lot. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is terrible. I got to figure out a way not to lose this thing. So I would always put it somewhere where I knew I would find it. Little did I know that was a lot easier way. And it was almost a year later when I found that out. And I'm, I'm ashamed to say that, but I'm not because I want to help you guys out. So fast forward to me changing these tires out. I recently put these new tires on here and when I took the bike in to get the new tires, I had the quick release taken out. And he said something, he said, you know you don't have to take the quick release all the way out, don't you? I was like, what? And he showed me how to do it. So that's what I wanna show you guys today is you don't even have to take the whole quick release out. You can leave it in and still be able to take the front wheel off, which I didn't know. Like I said, I'm ashamed to say it, but if it'll help you guys out, because I didn't know, so it's somebody else out there that doesn't know. I wanna re relay this information just in case you guys have been doing the same thing because I don't want you to lose the quick release like I did. So first you wanna pull this up over here the little lever over here and then you just want to loosen this up as much as you can without it coming all the way out and then you just pull the wheel off and that's way easier than pulling out the quick release all the way and trying to keep up with it and you don't have to worry about losing the quick release as long as you don't lose the front wheel and when you want to put the wheel back on you just put the wheel in as normal line the disc brake up with the uh, brake pads and just drop it on in there. I know a lot of you guys probably already knew this, but it was something I didn't know and I figured it was worth sharing because you don't want to lose a quick release. That's super stressful to have to go get another one and you get to a trail or something, you don't got the quick release, you can't ride. And I don't want that to happen to you guys like it happened to me. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't. I actually got another Marlin video coming out tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned for that. It's pretty, it's pretty interesting. So be on the lookout for that video tomorrow. It should be uploading tomorrow morning. Really appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.